It can be so frustrating when starting your own business, trying to figure out how to get your name out there. Even if you had the most incredible product around, bottom line is if your customers don't have an easy way to access, browse, and purchase from you, you'll find yourself getting lost amongst your competitors. However, it doesn't need to be that way. Managing your brand's online presence is easier than ever with Shopify. Business owners have all the tools they need right in front of them to handle shipments, manage stock, and assemble their online storefronts. Now, I've been using Shopify for a while now, and today I'm gonna to share some of my thoughts on their features, plans, pricing, and why I think Shopify's free trial could be a great first option if you're just starting out. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of whether Shopify could be the right fit for you and your business needs. And if any point you decide that you'd like to give Shopify a try, there's an affiliate link down in the description that'll get you three days of free access and a three-month subscription for just $1 a month which is the best deal out there right now. So if you've been living in the closet and you've never heard of Shopify, it's one of the best e-commerce platforms that gives you the ability to run your online shop smoothly and efficiently all in one place. It gives you tools like a website builder, inventory management system, and a payment processing service that can include international transactions if you choose to do that. Shopify also gives you different marketing tools and features like a dashboard that showcases your shop's metrics and provides clear vision visuals and data so you can make better decisions when it comes to your business. Setting up your brand's website, adding products, and connecting them directly to your social media account is incredibly easy in Shopify. So how does it work? Shopify offers a flexible range of services and products for both businesses run solely online or those that actually have a physical location. Whether you're in need of point of sale terminals for on-site selling at your location or SEO services and links to your store's Facebook and Instagram shops, you can select the appropriate boxes to customize your experience as you create your profile. And Shopify will add all the necessary integrations to your account. On top of that, Shopify can accommodate sales models for a variety of product types. These could be products that you personally buy or make, where you handle the shipping yourself, or they could even be drop shipped products or print on demand materials or even digital products and services. Now. If this is all new to you and you don't have any idea about what to sell, then I recommend doing some research or look through some of Shopify's app integrations. AppScenic, for example, is a program you can use to find and source products that your store can sell if you don't already offer them. And as a reminder, if any of what we covered sounds interesting to you, you can try out Shopify through the affiliate link in the description below to get three days for free and pay only $1 a month for your first three months of service. Now, when you set up your account, you'll run through the standard, put in your email, make a password routine. But if you look in the upper left corner of the sign up prompt, you'll see a drop down where you can select your country. Now, if this is your first time, you should probably just pick the country you live in. But if you already have a store, whether it's online or a physical location, you're going to want to choose the country where your store is located. So, for example, if you live in England, but you have your store set up in the US, then you'll pick the US. Then you're going to complete a brief questionnaire about how your business is set up, starting with where you sell your products. Is it through social media, at markets and pop-up shops? Do you have any brick and mortar locations? After that, you're going to let Shopify know whether you've already begun selling your products or if you're just getting started. And to finish giving them an idea of what you'll need for your account, you'll indicate the types of products you're planning to sell. Do you create the products yourself? Are you drop shipping? And so on. Then once you've filled out the basic info, you can move on to selecting a plan. And based on the answers to that questionnaire that they had you fill out, Shopify will suggest a plan to fit your specific needs. For example, if you're doing direct sales, then the retail plan might work for you because it incorporates an actual physical point of sale option. But if you're just starting a new store that is meant specifically for e-commerce, then the basic plan, which generally covers all of the essentials for assembling and expanding your online store is probably the best pick. Now, I went directly to the basic plan. Once you choose a plan on the next screen, you'll have to pay. And you can also choose to pay either annually or monthly as in most cases, the payment is going to be a bit cheaper if you pay yearly instead of monthly. After that, the only thing left for you to do is subscribe. After that, it's going to take you back to the Shopify dashboard. And from here on out, you can start using Shopify any way you see fit. You can start customizing themes and exploring the data and metrics available for you on the dashboard. So to finish up, signing up for Shopify's trial and then moving to the basic package is definitely a smart move if you plan on starting small as you figure this journey out. 
The trial lets you test out all of their features without any pressure so you can see if Shopify services are the right fit for you. And once you're ready to go on the platform, the basic plan will give you all the tools you need, including the website builder, inventory management, secure payment processing, and marketing templates to help you get started on selling right away. That wraps up today's video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then please like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you want to try Shopify, there's a link in the description below that'll give you three days of free access and a three month subscription for just $1 a month. If you have any questions, drop some comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.